If you want to create a surface plot in Origin, but have data in a worksheet as X, Y, and Z columns, these data will first need to be gridded. As an example of gridding, consider the following data set that is shown to my left and plotted here on the right. If you were to look at this data set from the top, that is, look at its X, Y projection, you would see that the X and Y spacing of these points as displayed here in the following 2D graph, is uneven in X and Y. That is, the data are not regularly spaced. And this occurs often in experimental conditions. To effectively render a 3D surface, the data need to conform to a regularly spaced grid. As an example, again as a 2D projection, look at the following gridded scatter data. A gridded data set will appear at regular intervals in both X and Y. Origin contains a built-in function to go from a data set that looks like this on the left to a data set that looks like this on the right. Typically, XYZ data will reside in a worksheet, whereas gridded data will reside in a matrix. To begin gridding your data, select the columns as I have just done, select Worksheet, Convert to Matrix, and XYZ Gridding. A dialog opens that presents you with several options. The most important ones are the gridding settings. In this case, the default is to use the Renka Klein algorithm to do the interpolation between the scattered uneven data points and the regularly spaced gridded data points. There are other algorithms which you can find in this list, and there are also methods for, in the, for the case that you have a regularly spaced matrix or a sparse matrix and only want to represent a few points in a larger grid. In this example, I will concentrate on random data only, and I will use the Rankine Klein algorithm. You can find out more on, the, on each of the algorithms in the origin help file. The main parameters you will want to change are the number of columns and rows for your grid. In this case, I'd like to select eight columns by six rows. Notice that there is a preview tab available you can preview as a contour, or as a color map surface, or as a 3D wireframe, the results of the gridding operation. I want to output a matrix, so I have the output matrix box checked. Output virtual matrix outputs data that is arranged like matrix data, but it places it in a worksheet, hence virtual. This box tells me I will get a new matrix out when I hit OK. Clicking OK produces the new matrix, eight columns wide by six rows long. What we are seeing here in the matrix are the Z values, as you would expect. If I wish to confirm that the data indeed are on a regular spaced grid, we can plot these data as, a, say, a 3D scatter, for instance. And then, I'll first expand the graph, and then rotate it downward, and to the right. And now you can see, just as I presented here, but with a slightly 3D aspect, that the data are aligned on a regularly spaced grid, and they project upward from that XY grid. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.